Currently, Brandon Boston is the leading scorer for the Kentucky Wildcats, which really doesn't mean much right now with how poorly the Wildcats have been playing. Boston was once considered a surefire lottery pick, and there were even some discussions during the preseason of Boston potentially being a top three draft pick. But now that we're more than 10 games into the season, Boston may not even be worthy of a top 20 selection in this year's NBA draft. The handful of good moments this year have been overshadowed by poor shooting efficiency, shot selection, and decision making. Now, it's not too late for Boston to turn things around. Kentucky could eventually figure things out in the second half of the season, but we still have a good enough sample size to gauge if Boston is ready to play at the next level. Let's start with the positive. Even though Boston has been struggling with his efficiency from the field, he still has shown some flashes of his scoring potential that scouts raved about when he was in high school. On the perimeter, Boston could develop into a really solid catch and shoot threat if he's able to find some consistency. He has a very quick release off the catch, and in these situations, Boston is usually on balance, and he consistently gets good elevation on his jump shot. I also like that Boston is still very confident shooting the ball off the dribble despite his shooting woes. When he's taking his time and when he's under control, Boston shows a lot of promise as a shot creator. His handle is quick enough to create separation off the dribble, and he's capable of stopping on a dime and rising up quickly into mid-range pull-ups. These are moves that made Boston such a coveted prospect coming out of high school, so hopefully he can start making more of these types of shots on a consistent basis. As far as his slashing ability, Boston is still adjusting to the physicality of college ball, but there have been moments throughout the season where he has shown some creativity finishing around the basket. Boston will not wow you with elite athleticism, but he's a fluid athlete with a soft touch around the rim. Even though he's struggling at the moment shooting from the field, you could tell that Boston's confidence hasn't wavered, which gives me some optimism that he would turn things around. One thing that I do like from Boston that I'm seeing is his upside as a defender on and off the ball. He showed a lot of promise as a defender in high school, and despite some occasional defensive hiccups this season, it's good to see that he's producing on the defensive end at the college level. Physically, Boston possesses great physical tools for a wing defender standing at 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan, and these tools allow him to easily guard positions 1 through 3. He has impressive lateral quickness and active hands when guarding the ball. I also like his timing and anticipation when contesting shots. His length can make it really difficult for players to get their shots off. Boston is also very active in the passing lanes, doing a good job picking off lazy passes. More than anything, I like that Boston is not afraid to compete on the defensive end, always ready to take on the challenge of shutting down a player. Boston's effort on the boards has also been solid as well. He's easily Kentucky's best rebounding guard, averaging over five boards a game so far this season. Despite not being the strongest guy, he consistently crashes the boards with a lot of effort, and he rarely shies away from the physicality in the paint. It's understandable if you have some concerns about Boston's scoring ability, but if there's one thing you can't question, it is his high motor. His high motor to go along with his terrific tools gives Boston a high ceiling as a player. So it's safe to say that Brandon is having a tough time scoring effectively so far this season. It's not uncommon for freshman guards to have some ups and downs scoring the ball, but the issue with Boston is that he hasn't shot above 40% from the field since Kentucky's first game of the season. As of now, Boston is shooting 36% from the field while shooting a dreadful 17% from three-point range. Now, I would be lying if I said Boston's shooting inconsistencies is surprising. He did struggle with consistency as a high school prospect, but I did not expect for Boston to be struggling this much scoring the ball, and it's really starting to take a toll on his draft stock. Part of it is Boston just missing some pretty good looks at the rim, but another part of it is his questionable shot selection throughout the course of a game. Whether it's shooting quick shots early in the possession or forcing up shots under high degrees of difficulty, Boston still hasn't quite figured out the college game when it comes to picking his spots on the floor to score the ball. Another concern I had with Brandon going into college was how well he would handle the physicality of college ball, and it's clear that his lack of strength is affecting his efficiency. When he's attacking off the dribble, Brandon gets easily bumped off course, and he ends up forcing some out-of-control shots at the rim. Since Boston lacks explosiveness off the bounce, he has a tough time getting that first step by more athletic perimeter defenders. Also, the length and athleticism of the big men in the paint has been causing Boston to struggle finishing around the basket consistently. It's unfortunate that the concerns I had about Boston in high school has now transferred to the college level. 
I truly believe he has a ton of potential as a scorer, but right now his play offensively is sliding him further and further down draft boards. Well, here's my verdict. So far, Brandon Boston has shown he can impact the game in several ways, but unfortunately his play in these other areas have not been good enough to look past his struggles on offense. Even though Boston may be a lottery pick talent, it's safe to say his play thus far has not warranted him to be selected that high. I still think he's a guaranteed first rounder. I could see a team in the first round taking a chance on him strictly based off of his talent, but it's clear that Boston still needs a lot of development before he's able to make an impact at the NBA level. I'm optimistic that Boston will flip the switch and improve his play as the season progresses. He really is a hard worker that plays with a lot of effort on both ends of the floor. Hopefully he continues to remain confident and quickly bounce back from this shooting slump.